Welcome back everybody, we are doing a harbour finally and uh, we are over in that random little island over here. I already started working out like what I want to do so what I actually uh, did was I uh, removed some of the land and then put in like the boardwalk here as you can see that I've already done that off camera just because I was fiddling around with it like what do I want to do what don't I want to do I figured this is the best type of design and when I was at work I actually was designing it like on paper what I want to do <laughs> um, so I, I've, I've designed the whole area on paper but I'm not going to show you guys because it's extremely messy um, but so and it keeps flooding there so what I first did in this whole area is I reduced the the land terrain level so I made it quite quite lower and I don't know why it's doing that weird little bridge there but anyway I, I made all, the, all of the land in this area quite low because I didn't want the harbour to be a lot of weird terrain shapes and angles and I wanted it all to be generally flat and close um, just like the flat kind of area just keeps it simple. Um, this roundabout here it's going to be one of the main roundabouts and since there's going to be so much traffic coming in this whole area um, I want it's just easier to just use a roundabout for large amounts of traffic um, not always but in this case you'll see eventually that it works quite well and um, there will be also another roundabout as well in a just a little bit further away but um, so this one is more of a roundabout for in the actual harbor area and the whole arbor the arbor <laughs> harbor with a h thank you very much the harbor <laughs> harbor will also include a kind of fancy residential area and then uh, in front of the actual cruise ship terminal, is, there's going to be a lot of commercial and also the, um, what's it called again? Oh my god, I can't remember what it's called. The, um, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, what is that? What is that word? It's where all of the tourists come to stay, like the hotels. What is that called? It'll come to me in a second, but yeah. So, so all of that tourist hotel stuff I can't remember what it's called Ugh, it's annoying me uh, it's all going to be really close to the the cruise ship terminal and also the ferry terminal as well just because it's keeping it close it's very easy for them just to get off the the cruise ship and go straight to the motels and stuff like that just so they can just walk and so that they don't really need to rely on public transport or cars or whatever they can just walk and it's in close proximity but this side over here is going to be where all of the residential is a little bit of commercial as well but mostly residential so the residential over here it's on this side because it's further away from the cruise ship terminal so the cruise ship terminal side it's going to be a little bit noisy so i mean people staying in the hotels they can deal with it so the people on this side it's going to be much more quieter so it's a good location for all of the residential to go so and so it's i'm not really using much of a grid system like it's kind of a little bit but not really um so the whole island will not be developed i think about probably half about yeah probably half is developed and the rest of it is just left as just trees just because we don't always need to fully use up all of the space so um and i think if the island was completely full in this whole area uh, it would look kind of out of place because there's not really much surrounding developments not on the island if that makes sense so these roads here where they ended these more larger roads end here and it kind of signifies where the residential will begin and since this area it's going to be kind of having a lot of traffic so i've made you have the inner main road which is the one right near the boulevard right there and then i have another one at the back and the reason being is that it's just good to break up the traffic because i don't want all of the traffic to be using one main road so i'm breaking up the traffic so there's uh when i finish this area as well the motel area um it's going to be kind of like a square but the main boulevard roads go all the way around and there's also another connection from the hotel area as well so you don't want the whole area to rem have to rely on one single road because that is going to be a huge nightmare unless you're quite um, experienced and know how to deal with one single road which I kind of show you guys later 
Um, there's one main road that comes into this whole island. It's very, very wide. It has a lot of public transport coming from it, but um, you'll, you'll see that very soon. I don't add in a second road to the island um, in this video, but in the future there will be a second road, but for now there's just one, so don't criticize me on that just yet because um, even though I just said don't use one road, for me I know how to deal with it um, because I mean I've been taught how to, but for you guys you can try and just see what happens, maybe you guys can work it out, some of you can, some of you may not be able to, but for this particular place there's so much traffic coming in and out you want to just have so many different large roads you don't want to have too many um, you don't want to have too many in intersections too many traffic lights so especially like um, you don't want to have very small gaps like this gap here between those two intersections it's quite small that's okay because it's not a main road but if it had been on the main road that would be a complete nightmare because the waiting time, unless the two intersections were in sync, that's fine, but if they're not in sync, it's going to be a nightmare just because they have to stop and then go a little bit and then stop again. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. I'm kind of blabbering on, but um, so I wanted to continue on the boardwalk area and I kind of, I just stopped it here where the terrain goes up a little bit because I was thinking, how do I stop the boardwalk? How do I stop myself from just developing more and more and more? And so that's why I left the terrain like that. And the terrain, it's a little bit higher, and then it goes down. So where it goes down is where I'm going to be building, and where at, uh, the higher terrain area is where it's just natural. There's not really anything else besides the roads. And this, this is the main road here coming in. It's not really the main road. There's several main areas that you can get in to this whole area, but this is kind of like the centerpiece, this main large road here. And there's going to be a lot of higher high-rise buildings along this quite large boulevard, boulevard road right here and you notice I removed the connections just because I just wanted there to be an easy flow from that main road up the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen so there's no connection there just because if there was um, since there's a lot of traffic there's a lot of lanes there it would just cause a lot of traffic waiting time a lot of congestion unless you unless I put in the effort to make the traffic lights timed but I just, I didn't feel like I needed to. So that's why I'm putting in this pedestrian bridge right here as well. Just so it, that encourages pedestrian use as well. So making the whole area less rely on car use is really, really great because the naturally there's going to be a lot of cars coming in this area just because when the cruise ship comes, that's like a hundred people or so. Um, and then let's just say they suddenly all bring out a car. That's going to be a lot of traffic. So you want to encourage walking as much as you can you'll find it's just so much easier if they prefer to walk or use public transport and this whole area will have a lot of public transport as well so there's going to be bus lines there's going to be a tram line and there's also going to be the monorail there's also the ferry and then the cruise ship as well so and then of course if they can drive as well but there's going to be so, there's so many options i don't do all of it in this video it's broken this whole island is actually broken out into several videos just because there's so much to do in this whole video and for now I just make this very basic road I just kind of upgrade it like that I wasn't really caring too much about that right now because that is all fixed up in another video later on so the roads out here um, don't really focus on that yet that's just for the connection like um, yeah so don't criticize me about that just yet um, and then I'm just connecting the power here my power source is up there and then I just wanted there to be power now just so they can start building get some construction going get some people coming in because I didn't want to zone it all at once and then there's the huge influx of people at once because like ugh, I really hate when that happens like you've seen in my past videos when I build a whole suburb at once then there's that huge influx of cars at once and it is so annoying because the traffic um, the percentage like for now my percentage is around it's in the high 70s, I think. I did check yesterday and it was at 80%, which was quite surprising. That's the highest I've ever seen it. So, um, I forget what I was saying. Uh, I don't know. Someone in the comments was like, oh yeah, I get um, a traffic percentage flow of like 99%. And I'm like, really? Really? I, I did not believe you because I have tried this. I used the presidential network traffic mod, whatever it's called 
you can actually remove all of the, the vehicles at once. And even when you remove all of the vehicles, the highest it will go is like 80%. So yeah, I, I don't believe 99% at all. So anyway, um, you notice I zoned, uh, not zoned, but yeah, I zoned, but I also done the, um, the district zoning as well. So this area here along that main strip of road where the zoning is, that is where all the hotels are going to be. So all of the larger buildings are like um, the con uh, congregating along the main road right there. And then there's also going to be the, what is it called? I can't remember, like all of the, the bars and nightclubs, that's also going to be around there, but it's quite low um, construction, it's low dwellings. But the contrast between large, these larger buildings and then lower dwellings um i quite like it because it fits in with this whole theme as well and so i'm putting in the monorail right here because again it's close proximity to where all of the people are going to so there's going to be pathways making it extremely easy to walk from the for example the ferry or all of the hotels or the cruise ship terminal um, so the monorail is the main use that i want them to use getting to the city so in another video I do the monorail um, I implement that and that will go directly to the city it doesn't stop anywhere else except for one place which is where the future airport is going to be uh, you guys will see where that is going to be very very soon but yeah so this whole area it's it's not like I said it's not going to be finished in this video just because there's so many things to do and um, Everyone is saying that they would like a lot of longer videos. So if you guys could let me know kind of like the length. I'm thinking maybe a good length is about 20 minutes, 20, maybe maximum like 25 because that's a lot of <laughs> it's a lot of talking for me. Believe it or not, I'm not a very chatty person in general. So when I'm doing this, I have to like hype myself up on like caffeine, like an energy drink or even, I don't know. <laughs> so, and like when I just put in the music, I'm like, oh, I just need a break. It's so much talking. And yeah, so just let me know how long you want these videos to be because the past couple of videos, they were kind of short. Not that it's a bad thing. A lot of you guys really like short videos as well. So um, yeah, it's a bit hard to get the mixture right. I could just do one longer video, shorter video, longer, short, kind of like that. So, this area here, it's right next to the cruise ship terminal. So, it's just a nice little cement sitting area. Oh, you can see all of the people walk past as well. Oh my god, there they all go. And see, they can just walk straight up to all of the hotels, all of the bars, the pubs, the nightclubs. There's going to be, um, like I said, the monorail right there. There's also going to be the tram bus lines everything is really close it's in uh, walking distance and so i thought maybe i could just put this um terminal the cruise ship terminal towards the downtown but then what stopped me from doing that is the space is very limited and i wanted to do an area that is very just dedicated to tourists and and although you can see all of the cars there like i was talking about earlier there's so many cars so um, I forget what I was, <laughs> I forget what I was saying, to be honest. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Oh yeah, I wanted to do just one area dedicated to tourists. And when I first started playing this game, I saw this island and I was like, oh, that could be a very interesting um, shape to work with. But I never really thought I would use it as a terminal. What I thought I would probably use this island for was probably just a lot of low density residential areas nothing too special maybe just a seaside town but i've done pretty much the complete opposite when you think about it like this is extreme development a lot of traffic um yeah so i'm using the the rico mod so rico stands for residential um industrial commercial and office if anyone didn't know that and so i'm just placing in these buildings which are actually i th think commercial yeah um, not commercial they're actually residential so they kind of look like hotels but um, that's fine so I'm putting in a lot of uh, these Rico ones that I've downloaded then I also just zone some as well so they can just build whatever they want to build as well and I think in another video I 
detailed the whole residential the I guess you'd call it a fancy residential area luxurious residential area so and I didn't want to connect this road here just because um, it's a main road along a boulevard and I just thought connecting it just would not fit in I mean I can say that it would create a nuisance for the traffic but uh, for visual reasons I didn't want to add in the road right there You can pretty much see like already this whole area it's it's coming into shape already I do have a vision in my mind but um, yeah it's slowly coming together and uh, I've filmed I've actually completed this whole area of camera already I know how it looks it looks really really good and I hope you guys really enjoy it once I've finished the only concern I have is how many cruise ship terminals are going to come in because there's always like you see photos on like Facebook groups of, for this game and this their cities have like a hundred, not a hundred, but like 10 cruise ship terminals trying to dock at once and so I reduced the budget for the cruise ships and they still come in like a huge herd of cruise ships so I'm kind of like a little bit worried because I, I don't want it to be like that I don't want it to look really unrealistic with all of the cruise ship terminals like that so um, so you can see I'm just adding in some more Rico buildings. It's going there's going to be a lot more detail in this whole area and um, yeah, actually it's just a really exciting area for me because it's like designing this whole area exactly how I want in one go and yeah. And um, I kind of got my inspiration from Sydney because I was in Sydney uh, I think last weekend and I mean I was walking around the harbor and the the harbor it's kind of like this. Um, I mean not really but I got kind of some similarities from the Sydney Harbour and yeah so that kind of inspired me to do this video right now to be honest yeah and so I left all of this open space right here and that is going to basically just be used for open green space there's going to be pathways and there's actually not going to be too much uh, vegetation and you guys will see that very soon I use very limited and just a very interesting technique which is becoming more and more common along um, boulevard areas and yeah so getting closer to the end of this video I mean this area it's already coming to life already I'm just trying to adjust the park a little bit um, yeah you can <laughs> you can see so many cars were at the cruise ship terminal already and yeah but I think I need to download some more uh, Rico residential buildings because I don't really have too many residential buildings yet I mean I have a lot but not that many that fit in with the upper class fancy residential type look that I want Okay, and so one final touch before I finish this video. I'm going to add in some more, not more, but some historical buildings in this area. And I just wanted to give, I just wanted to give this area a more historical vibe. So um, these buildings here, they're actually uh, industrial buildings, but I, I just like the look of them because to me it reminds me of just a very older style harbour area and these are like just the buildings that are left over and they're kind of more like a historical aspect for the whole area and I think 
in my opinion, it looks quite good because um, we were always taught in uni, if you were to make a whole new town yourself, it'll feel like it's missing something. It'll feel like it's missing a historical aspect and it will just feel like it has no, I guess you'd say like no soul or it just has an emptiness. So that's why I wanted to add in these more historical buildings just to give it that just more depth if that makes sense. It's a really hard concept to describe. I wish I could figure out the exact phrase for that that I was taught. But yeah, so you can see there's a lot of traffic coming in. Yeah, the traffic's bad for now. Don't worry about that yet. It's fixed up. Once I finish this area, the traffic is pretty, pretty smooth. Um, even I impressed myself. So no need to criticize the traffic just yet. And just before I finish the video, I'm going to add in some of these very... Um, cliche buildings that I don't even know what they are but I feel like I always see them everywhere and I'm just gonna add in a couple of random props just because why not <laughs> um, some industrial props I guess but it's I think this area it's not an area that is accessible to the public it's just something I, I don't even know I just like it it's just an area near, <laughs> nearby and I don't really add in many details like this if you notice, this is the first time I really add in props like this. Um, reason being because with my old computer, I was always so afraid to add in props because like it, the lag and stuff like that. So uh, Anyway, just giving you guys one quick final shot before I go. The area is looking really good, I think. Let me know what you think and yeah, stick around for how it turns out because I'm honestly really, really excited for you guys to see it. Like when I was doing these videos, I was like, oh my god, I really cannot wait for everyone to see it because how it turns out in the end, it's really, just really good. I'm just really proud of myself. <laughs> um, yeah, it's designed quite well. It works quite well and yeah, so I hope you guys like it and I hope I see you guys very, very soon. Don't forget to leave a suggestion for this area in particular and yeah, Bye for now guys.